getting down with the pass early in the morning. Morning folks, it is day 11 and I am back on trail. In fact, I am about four and a half miles into trail on top of Silver Pass, so we have knocked that out for the day. Sitting here just enjoying the view and having a second breakfast. Uh, so today, um, I'm gonna hike around 15 to 16 miles, and this is the only pass I had to do today. Um, so I was glad to get it, to uh, get that knocked out. It's about 7.30 in the morning. Um, I got up early again, and I like hiking early in the morning and knocking out these passes if I can. So I have, I guess, what, 11? You know, maybe 11, maybe 12 more miles to go today and should be mostly downhill, maybe a little cruising. And yeah, it looks like another beautiful blue sky day. Still not a cloud um, in the sky, but um, yeah, it's been, uh, been a good morning. And I really think I only have a couple more passes like Island and Donahue, I think. So the next couple of days, I may have no passes at all and then knock out Island and Donahue. But that's for the future. Right now, I'm in just enjoying uh, conquering Silver Pass and eating my second breakfast and, you know, getting ready to uh, see what the day's got to bring. So that is where we came from, down that valley, up and around. A couple of lakes. And then, boom! That's where we're headed. Down, down, down. I am still heading down from uh, Silver Pass, as that tends to be the case with most of these passes, at least when you're going uh, northbound, you go down, down, down for a while. And it's been a bit rocky in some, so um, luckily I'm on a fairly smooth bit right now. But I've hiked eight miles, it's around 9.30, and I don't know, I've just been such in a better mental state and better mood. I'm like, dude, I only have eight miles left. You know, I only have eight miles left today. And depending on the train, you know, I could be done in around four hours, which means I could be done in the early afternoon and just relaxing at a campsite for once. And so that has put me in a awesome mood. And yeah, things are going really well. Still a beautiful morning. Um, just heading down, 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 switchbacks to a meadow, but uh, it is, it's beautiful <laughs> out here. It really is, um, and I am enjoying it all, and it's been a good day so far, so we'll see you on the trail. Here at uh, Lake Virginia 
It is a bit windy, so I found some shelter between some rocks and some trees back here. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I knew that I, I had a climb other than uh, Silver Pass today. And I'm not sure why they don't call this a pass. I'm sure there's a technical definition of a pass. But Lake Virginia sits at around 10,400. And I climbed probably at least a thousand feet, if not more, over the course of a mile. And so it, it should be called something like the Virginia climb or or something. And I knew it was coming. Um, and I was glad to get it done before before noon when the temperatures can really start uh, heating up. But uh, with the wind blowing, it feels actually pretty good when you're climbing. But yeah, I've got 4.4 uh, miles left to, uh, it's called Duck Creek Campsites. And um, looks like it's only 4.4 uh, miles. And yeah, so I'm just going to rest here a little bit, uh, prop up my feet, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the trail. Home for the night at Duck Creek, mile marker 68.9. So we have camp set up, and you can see I already have my tarp pitched pretty low because it is uh, kind of windy out here. Um, so I pitched it low and tight to kind of help block some of the wind when I'm in there. But yeah, two great trees for uh, hanging a hammock and it's gonna work out really well. So I got into camp around uh, three o'clock, which was great. I was the first one here. Um, and then, you know, I set up my hammock and I, uh, you know, took a nap and two hours later, I woke up. So it was probably at 4.45 <laughs> that, I, that I woke up. So that was, that felt great. Um, today just being able to get in here and just kind of relax and enjoy my campsite a little bit. It is a bit windy um, But you know, that's okay. I have my tarp. I'm gonna pitch it down low uh, to help block some of that wind But uh, yeah, let me show you around camp a little bit Duck Creek is right over here. The trail comes along here and Yeah Really good access to water. It's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a good sight. Beautiful little waterfall by the campsite. It's kind of nice. Yeah, this is great. And as the creek runs down, and there's my hammock right there. It's gonna have a great view when that sun sets tonight. Let me take you down to the water source as it is pretty nice. Really easy access. What I call, you know, good sitting rocks. <laughs> you can sit on, soak your feet, get cleaned off really well. Um, beautiful little cascading falls, but just a great place to get your water as well as uh, clean up for the evening. So you can see my hammock is just right there. 
right next to the water source. Looks like uh, I know a front was coming in on Friday and Saturday. And so for today was the first time that I saw clouds in the sky. So I am at uh, Duck Creek at mile marker 68.9. And uh, it's a great sight. There's a beautiful waterfall. There's mountains in the background. Um, great water source. And yeah, it was a great day. You know, I hiked around 16.3 miles. And I think it was just, um, it was still hard. Like it was still a hard day. You know, I had a big climb over Silver Pass in the morning, which um, was not easy. There was this one stretch, like half a mile that went up a thousand feet or something. It was tough early on in the morning. And then I had a, a couple of stretches to get up to Lake Virginia. And then I went all the way down to, I think that was Duck Lake, to then come back all the way up, then to come back all the way down to Duck Creek, which is where I'm at tonight. And so it was still hard, but I think in my mind, you know, I didn't have to hike 20 miles. And I, that just did so much for me that, I was only having to hike 16, so my feet were still, my feet were still, you know, tired and sore and needed some rest. But I think my mental aspect was just a lot better, and it was a uh, a beautiful, beautiful day. And um, you know, we go into Reds tomorrow. Only hike, I think I only hike around 15. So uh, looking forward to that. But with all this wind and everything, you know, I'm. I'm probably not going to do anything else tonight except maybe just cook dinner real quick and uh, just hunker down into my, my hammock. But uh, it has been a great day, and we will see you in the morning. Red Meadow Resort, the new national forest.